In this Spring 5 tutorial, learn to create Spring 5 MVC web application, handle form submission, integrate Hibernate to connect to backend database and adding Hibernate validator for input form fields validation. We will create a simple screen where we can add user fields, name and email. These details will be first validated and then stored in HSQL database using Hibernate. The page will list down all stored users as well. Table of Contents Development, Environment, Project Structure, Maven Dependencies, Configure Dispatcher Servlet, Spring Web MVC Configuration, Hibernate, Configuration, Spring Controller, and Path Mappings, Service and DAO Layer, View and Messages, Demo. Development Environment, Eclipse Oxygen.1, JDK 1.8, Spring 5.0.0. Release, Hibernate 5.2.11. Final, Hibernate Validator 5.4.1. Final, Servlets 3.1.0, HSQL DB 1.8.0.10, Tomcat 7 Maven Plugin 2.2. Let's look at the project structure in the Eclipse. Here is the class diagram of the various component in the project. Here controller class is auto-wired with user service and user service implementation is auto-wired with user DAO. Also we have user entity as our data transfer object IEDTO. Also we have app initializer, hibernate config and web MVC config class that provide the basic configuration for booting of our app. Let's have look at various dependencies in POM XML of Maven. Do check the version of these dependencies. With the release of the Servlet 3.0 spec it became possible to configure your Servlet container with, almost, no XML. For this there is the servlet container initializer in the servlet specification. In this class you can register filters, listeners, servlets etc as you would traditionally do in a web.xml. Spring provides Spring servlet container initializer which knows how to handle web application initializer classes. Abstract annotation config dispatcher servlet initializer class implements web MVC configurer which internally implements web application initializer. It registers a context loader listener, optionally, and a dispatcher servlet and allows you to easily add configuration classes to load for both classes and to apply filters to the dispatcher servlet and to provide the servlet mapping. Web MVC Configurer defines options for customizing or adding to the default Spring MVC configuration enabled through the use of at enable Web MVC. At Enable Web MVC enables default Spring MVC configuration and registers Spring MVC infrastructure components expected by the dispatcher servlet. At Configuration indicates that a class declares one or more at bean methods and may be processed by the Spring container to generate bean definitions and service requests for those beans at runtime. At Component Scan annotation is used to specify the base packages to scan. Any class which is annotated with that component and that configuration will be scanned. Internal Resource View Resolver helps in mapping the logical view names to directly view files under a certain pre-configured directory. Resource Bundle Message Source accesses resource bundles using specified base names, here it is Messages. Local validator factory bean bootstraps a javax.validation.validation factory and exposes it through the Spring validator interface as well as through the JSR303 validator interface and the validator factory interface itself. Local session factory bean creates a hibernate session factory. This is the usual way to set up a shared hibernate session factory in a Spring application context. Enable Transaction Management enables Spring's annotation-driven transaction management capability. Hibernate Transaction Manager binds a Hibernate session from the specified factory to the thread, potentially allowing for one thread-bound session per factory. This transaction manager is appropriate for applications that use a single Hibernate session factory for transactional data access, but it also supports direct data source access within a transaction i.e. plain JDBC. 
controller class has two simple mappings for get and post operations. If input fields are not validated, then return the same form beam to display error messages. Else return refreshed view. Service and thou layer are normal service components annotated with at service and at repository annotations. Add transactional annotation is applied at service layer for transaction support. Finally, JSP file used and messages resource bundle used. Let's run the application using Maven Tomcat 7 plugin. Execute Maven Goal, Tomcat 7 colon run. Now the application has started let's access it through browser and check the functionalities.